This is the first example from the cow packet. Uh, all of these are at right angles to each other. There's not any breaking down in components necessary for this one. Okay, uh, Chips and Dips and Rosa Corn own a dairy farm. One of their cows, Bessie, escapes the gate and wanders 50 meters to the north, and then she stops and turns 30 meters to the east, and then goes down 20 meters south, and then another 30 meters east. I'm looking for two answers. First of all, what is the total distance that the cow walks? You don't have to do anything. It's just regular adding. The distance is how many miles she put on her little cow feet. And this is 130 meters. Okay, now for the more fun part. Uh, let's actually find the, replace, uh, the resultant displacement. Um, okay. These are displacement vectors. You can add any kind of vectors. This just happens to be a displacement. And I'm going to use colors uh, just to make this a little bit easier. So 50 north, that's going to be A. Um, 30 east, 20 south, and then another 30 east. Okay, I want to draw them to scale, and we are going to do tip to tail. And I'm going to start right here at the corner of uh, the gate. So the first one, A, is straight up for 50. And she stops here and turns to the east. She goes 30 to the east. I want to make 30 so it's about this long. Like that. And then goes to the south, so this is down. Again, 20. That would probably be a good guesstimate. And then last, another 30 to the east. And I want this 30 to be the same length as that 30. So I've added them all tip to tail. The resultant goes from the very beginning to the very end. Make sure that you have arrows on everything. That's what I'm trying to find is my resultant. And you can kind of see that this resultant is going to be made up of a part that goes this way that's made up of the 30 and then another 30. So this leg here is going to be 60. And then this leg of the triangle is going to be the 50 up and then the 20 down. And so this one's end up 30. This is a pretty easy example, but I'm going to go through all the steps because uh, other, other problems can be more difficult. Okay, um, I don't have any angles that are, I don't have any diagonal vectors that I'm trying to add, so I don't have to break anything down into its components. I'm just going to uh, write out the components of each of these, and since it's all either completely horizontal, that would mean all X and no Y, or completely vertical, and so no X and all Y. So let's start with um, A, the blue one here. The x component is 0 because just this doesn't go over at all in the x direction. It doesn't go a little to the left or a little to the right. Nothing in the x and a positive 50 in the y. B, the pink one, this one alone goes all uh, in the x direction. It's forward 30, so 30, and it doesn't go up and down at all, so I end up with a 0 for my y component. C, the green one, doesn't go, um, doesn't move at all. It doesn't go a little to the left or right. It's all just uh, vertical, so no X. And because it is down, it's negative 20. And then D, my last one, is 30 forward in the X and none in the Y. Then you're going to sum your X components, and I end up with 60. And sum these. Don't forget about the negative if it's going down or backwards. I get 30. Once I end up with these here, just go ahead and redraw your triangle. Um, it's pretty neat. You can see it on this one pretty easily, but it, it gets crowded often. So let's just go ahead and get used to redrawing it. So once I've got the 60 and the 30, I've got Rx is equal to 60. Ry equals 30. And you have to have arrows on everything, even your components. Well, I'm going to try and find. And from this point, super easy. I don't care anymore about anything on this picture. I don't care about any of these numbers. The only thing I'm looking at is this answer triangle right here. And I'm going to do the Pythagorean theorem and inverse tangent. So let's see. Pythagorean theorem. 
Uh, this is going to be in the first quadrant, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, both the x and y components have been summed, so now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the magnitude, which is just the how far, uh, of the total, and another way to say total is resultant, displacement. So using my equation, r is the square root of the x part squared plus the y part squared. And I end up with 67.1 meters. So that's how far she is from where she began. And then to figure out the direction that he would need to go, you have to pick an angle. The angle is going to be inside your answer triangle, and it's always the one that's touching the starting point over here. So now I can say inverse tangent of opposite, which is 30, over adjacent, which is 60. And I get an angle of 26.6 degrees. But it's not just randomly 26.6. To get the direction, I'm going to trace my triangle and write down the directions backwards from what I go. So I've got east first and then north. So this is north of east. So Bessie's result in displacement, she is now 67.1 meters from where she began, and the direction is 26.6. So if uh, the farmer had like a little GPS on her collar and was going to try and find her, he'd like pull up his GPS, and it would be like, beep, 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 go 67.1 meters in the direction of 26.6 north of east to find the cow. And we're done.